everyone, it's Erica. Welcome back to Maniacal Reader. Today I'm going to be doing a review of... This is the fourth and final book in her Raven Cycle series, and it was the first book I read in June. Now, if you haven't really read this book, I suggest you not watch this review, since it's definitely going to be full of spoilers, obviously, since this is the last book in the series. Go read the, his fabulous series, and then come back and watch my here review. So much happened with the characters in this book, and the plot definitely moved forward. At some point during this book, we learned that the creature that Piper was talking to at the end of the previous book was actually a demon. And this demon has its heart set on unmaking the forest, basically destroying Cave's water. Aside from that, Rowan and Adam's relationship moves forward. Earlier on in the series, the reader has discovered that Rowan has a crush on Adam. I've known Rowan had a crush on Adam from the previous book. I didn't really think Adam felt the same way about Rowan. So I was surprised when he actually did feel the same way about Rowan too. Anyway, I'm happy that these two characters ended up together and it really seems like Rowan finally has some and he can depend on now. I also liked Henry's part in this book and the fact that he told Nancy that his mother and father created magical bees and how somehow his father's company or mother's company is tied up in Rowan's dad being murdered. And I really liked him, especially during the end of the book. He seemed like he was a really good friend to Blue and the rest of the Raven Boys. He seemed like a genuine character. There were also so many emotional ups and downs for me, especially near the end where Rowan's mom died. Earlier on in the series, the readers learned that Rowan's mom is actually a dream figure that was dreamed up by Rowan's father years ago, and she ends up dying because of the demon in this book. So it was hard for me to see Rowan sad and like heartbroken after what happened. The final twist near the end of the book with Gansey dying just had me on the edge of my seat and white knuckled throughout the whole ending basically. I also liked the twist with Noah. In this book, in the chapter when it says Noah drift hid easily from time, in that part, I knew that Noah was going away. I hear that's a confusing point in the book, especially for some readers. To me, it seems like Noah did sacrifice himself so that Gansey can live. Caves water and it up remaking a human so that Gans, he ended up living. I thought that was an interesting twist, and it was something I wasn't expecting. Before Gansy was remade into a human thanks to Cave's water, I was on the edge of my seat or feeling so sad when Gansy was dead and his friends in blue didn't know what to do. They thought it was over and Gansy somehow couldn't be saved. In the back of my mind, I probably knew that he wouldn't be dead for long because who kills off a main character at the end of the series? I've never heard of that before, so I knew that Maggie had something interesting up her sleeve, and it turns out she did. This is a series that I could definitely see myself rereading in the future. I was kind of meh about the Raven Boys since I only gave that book 3 out of 5 stars. But as the series progressed, I became more and more interested. And I think that this final book is definitely the best out of all of them. Because there are so many twists and turns and so many emotional ups and downs. I believe I gave this book 5 out of 5 stars because it's just truly amazing. Everything that happens with the characters and the plot, it was really good. There was some confusing points with Noah and Gansey and the demon. I feel that this was a great 
and Allie. And Maggie definitely knows what she's doing in order to keep her readers interested. This is a fantastic series, even though it took me a while to get into. That's the end of my review for The Raven King. Comment down below and tell me what you thought of The Raven King, if you've read it. Did you think it was a good finale? Did you like how everything was resolved? Were there any confusing points for you or parts that you didn't like of the book? Let me know down below. That's all for this video today. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!